Hey, what's going on? Ryland here in the garage gym, and I'm gonna give you guys a little updated uh, tour, walk around the gym. I've got some big changes coming to the gym soon. I'm not gonna get to them yet, but uh, then I'll do another. Uh, I'll do another tour after I do the new uh, changes to that. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned. We'll walk around the gym, and I'll give you a little updated uh, tour of it. Nice, beautiful day today. Supposed to get some rain starting tomorrow, but here, let's go inside and I'll walk you around the gym, give you a little updated tour of what is happening and what's going on. I'll start over here. Sticker wall is getting a few more stickers on there. Starting to expand with that and Check out any new banners. That clock's been great. I've got that on Amazon and uh, it works great for boxing intervals. It's pretty much the main reason I use it and it works really well for that. Sandbags from Rep. Those have been working out really well, no issues. I have had some feedback from people buying Amazon sandbags and the handle's ripping off. So just a, something to think about there. New banner from Bear Steel Equipment. Uh, same benches, PR 5000 and the 30, uh, the 3000, yeah. The rep PR 5000 got a little bit bigger. As you can see, basement Brandon's banner is looking as Overwatch right now. And this guy is now a eight post power rack. And that was an idea that I had to try to expand a little more options for my wife and I to set up some different uh, stations for, so she could have her J-cups positioned where she wanted them and not have to move all that stuff around every time we were training. But we'll see how this goes. We've had it like this for a few months and the verdict is still out. If I'm gonna keep it like this or not, um, we'll see. I might have some more changes coming. The Rogue Monos, I've got a review on those. You guys have seen that. I've, I've just about only, well, no, let me just say, I haven't moved them from this position, so I've been just using them for bench, and like I said in the review, they work great for bench. I haven't moved them to do any squats with them. I just don't see a reason to, uh, especially when I have the Irwin Roller J-Cups, which work just fine for doing squats. Picked up some more plates from American Barbell. I'm a big fan of these plates, and I know that they are not as fancy as the Rogue Deep Dish, but for me, they just work really well. They're super functional. Uh, they are very durable and very nice quality plates. I'll probably have a review coming out soon on those. The bands are the same. I've got the band tensioner there for measuring your tension. I've been really enjoying using the bands in the training. I've been playing around with these rep spotter straps and I will say that I like the strap idea. However, these have quite a bit of extra strap in them. So I'm probably going to take those down or maybe look at get a replacement from uh, spud ink or something like that. I think rep could have made those a little bit shorter to be honest. And let's see, cruise around, still got the Titan spotter arms. I haven't had a need to replace those. Um, they're, oh man, those things are beasts. They're crazy heavy. Let's go up top. Banners, I don't think there's a ton of change in the banners other than maybe moving them around a little bit. Got the garage gym competition banner up there. That's coming up in about three or four weeks. So I'll be playing around with that. And yeah, cardio equipment is still the same. This has been working really well for us. And uh, Echo Bike, uh, Precore, um, Upright Bike, which I really like. It's great for those days you just don't feel like beating yourself up too bad. And then a couple of 
treadmills and these are your your classic commercial life fitness treadmills uh, they just work and uh, they're very durable treadmills the only thing we haven't added and i've thought about it is adding in maybe uh, a rower concept two rower so i'm kind of on the lookout for that if i see a deal on one or something i might pick one up and added the globe pull-up station to the front of the rep rack and this is custom mounted it's not the way you're going to get it from the factory from rep uh, rep if you're watching this this is an area that might look into uh, do an adjustment on and basement brandon's uh, talked about this as well on his reviews and the problem with this was that this would attach about two inches in that way and it didn't come out to the front of your rack so i actually moved the holes and front mounted it so that it mounts at the front which i like better i think it looks better and just works better so that was a little custom move there um We'll move over to this side. Multi-grip bars has expanded. I've got now a couple cambered bars in here and you've seen the cambered bar review. This is the new cambered bar from Rep and I've got the Fringe Sport bumper plates. I really like those plates. They've worked really well. I am not a big fan of this area in general. It's uh, becoming a bit cluttered and clustered to try to get those bumper plates in and out of there. I'm kind of having to squeeze past those multi-grip bars. So there's, there's a plan in the works here to address the storage in this area. Picked up a Titan deadlift jack. It's got the rogue sticker on it to see if anybody gets triggered by that. But uh, that one's from Titan. I think it's 80 bucks or something. It's cheap. Uh, it works. Yeah, it works. There's better out there. I would skip the rogue version personally and go right to the Cleva version if you want to get a something a lot nicer than that just go straight to cleva built don't even bother with rogue rogues is the same as that um storage there got to got to come up with some improvements for storage back in this area here it's turning into a little bit of a mess there's just stuff starting to pile up so i've got some ideas for that try to clean clean that up and I picked up more of the Amazon, Walmart, whatever you want to call it, um, um, pull down attachments. These are kind of the, uh, the copies or whatever. And they were on sale, I think 75 bucks or 80 bucks ship. So I was, bought another set more or less for insurance. Um, this is new. This is the Titan nine barbell vertical holder and i'm really happy with this titan yeah thanks they did a good job and what makes it different than some of the other manufacturers is titan included the plastic sleeves that protects your barbells so that's really nice i don't think rogues has that and again the price on that was really reasonable i, I don't even remember that in the, less than a hundred dollars shipped i've got a few new bars in there and have been doing some reviews on those as we go along. The Rogue Matador, of course my Titan lat pull down. I've got the stacked weight pin there from Bear Steel, been playing with that. The Matador has not been getting a lot of use, unfortunately. That's just something that I don't see a need for that often. Uh, GHD and Westside Barbell Reverse Hyper. These get used every day. I alternate between the GHD usually and the Westside Barbell Scout. I don't fold it up, but you can if you're looking to make it a little more compact. My biggest gripe with the Westside, with the Westside Scout is the, first of all, the bolt issue. And um, I've got some spacers in there and I know they've addressed this with the new ones, but, um, that was kind of unfortunate that the bolt rubs on your plates. The other issue is there's not enough room to put three plates and then be able to secure them and they will just fly off if you don't. Uh, so unless you got calibrated steel plates, you might be able to get a few more plates on there. Uh, there's some of the upcoming project stuff sort of in limbo over there. Head over to the mat area. 
The rings have been getting a ton of use. The kids have been loving that. The kids also are training in uh, jiu-jitsu right now, so the mat area has been getting use, um, used quite a bit. So we've been doing a lot of training with that. And over here, this has turned into another area that needs to get addressed, but uh, just been stocking up here on a little too many different um, lifting straps and sleeves and uh, all sorts of belts and everything else. And I think we've hit capacity on that, <laughs> on that rogue hanger. So uh, got some plans to try to decluster that a little bit, but um, yeah, rogue fridge or sorry, the uh, Red Bull fridge, I have not been using it and I've, I've um, kind of just found the problem was if it's full of any type of drinks, it just uh, you just end up drinking them all. So it's uh, you know, the last thing you need to do is drink a ton of energy drinks throughout the day. And again, having a home gym, it's easy to just walk over to the house and get a drink if you need it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that fridge as of now. The bench, I still get a lot of questions on this. Originally DeWalt yellow that was I painted red. And this bench now I think... $250 uh, plus shipping taxes, I think it comes out to about $300. I got this bench for $150 shipped before inflation hit. So that's gone up quite a bit, just like everything else has. And yeah, a little, little walk through there. And yeah, that about covers where we're at now in the gym. Little updated tour. I know it's a short one, but I wanted to give you guys a little update on how things are looking. All right. Have a good day. See ya.